I'm Greg, the product manager for Component One, and these are the top seven new features in our 2023 V1 release. At number seven, our multi-column combo box for WinForms. The new C1 multi-column combo control is a multi-column dropdown that allows you to display additional data fields to help end user selection. In addition to displaying multiple columns, multi-column combo supports searching and highlighting, giving you the best lookup editor. This control supports .NET 6, .NET 7, and it's the recommended replacement for our classic C1 combo control. Number six, custom WPF material themes. In this release, we've made theme customization easier for modern WPF applications. In the past, you picked a theme or no theme, but now you can start with our clean material theme and make it your own with different brush combinations. Choose a lighter dark background and add a pop of accent color to match your application or company branding. At number five, multi-range selection in FlexGrid for WPF, WinUI, Blazor, and MAUI. In this release, we've managed to enhance our .NET data grid control, FlexGrid, across every platform. With multi-range selection, end users are able to select multiple non-adjacent cells, rows, and columns by holding the control key. Plus, we've improved the cell selection behavior in FlexGrid for Blazor, WebAssembly, and Server. And we haven't forgotten about FlexGrid for WinForms. Stay tuned to the end of this video for more details. At number four, visualize GeoJSON mapping data. Joining our ASP.NET MVC component, our WinForms and WPF map components now support GeoJSON formatted content. You can add shapes on the .NET maps using GeoJSON files, and these support features including points for addresses and locations, lines that can be used to represent streets, boundaries, and polygons that let you mark borders of countries, states, and provinces. Number three, CSV reporting and CRUD operations. Our Flex Report Designer now supports connecting to simple text-based data using our CSV data connector. Developers and report designers alike can now design and build reports from simple CSV data files, locally or over the web. Our CSV data connector also supports CRUD operations through API config files. Number two, new .NET 6-based libraries for ASP.NET Core. All of our ASP.NET Core MVC controls and web APIs have been upgraded to .NET 6-based libraries, and now you can support .NET 6 and higher. These .NET 6 libraries are 100% backward compatible, and they allow you to take advantage of the latest features and performance gains in .NET 6. And at number one, FlexGrid for WPF performance enhancements. FlexGrid now supports creating custom cells using 2D drawing for optimal performance. By comparison, we can see about 30% faster rendering when using 2D drawing techniques, such as draw string, compared to using UI elements, such as text blocks. You can learn more about this in our upcoming blog. And that's not all we've added in the Component 1 2023 V1 release. Check out my What's New blog for more details and download the updates today. Thank you for watching, and thank you for choosing Grape City.